Hey there, it's Beth and I'm up on the Crafty Maven Getaway for Art Party Friday. And I just have a quick video showing you um, an art journal layout that I did to document my one little word for this year, which is time. I am taking the class by Allie Edwards, but I haven't done as much as I did last year with my word. So I wanted to try and get back to focus with my word. So this is how I started. What you saw first was me putting some gesso on the first page. This is a brand new book, by the way. When I was putting gesso on the first couple of pages, and then I realized that I didn't want to use those pages because they were the very, very first ones. And the way the book was laying, I didn't like it. And I also realized that I would rather use my heavy gesso so that I could get a bit of texture. And I'm applying the heavy gesso with a palette knife because I don't want it to be smooth. I want it. I want a nice texture on here. And now I'm just really just um, cleaning up and drying uh, because I used the heavy gesso and because I put it on kind of thick in some areas. It did take me quite a bit, um, quite a while to dry. So I get that dried and then I grab this acrylic paint that is the cheap paint. It's like 50 cents a bottle for this paint. And um, I used that teal in the inspiration piece. I was really, really stuck on that those teal bowls and the color of those teal bowls. And I'm assuming that's because blue and teals and mint greens, those are my favorite colors. So I'm that's, that's where that came from. So I lay down my first layer of paint, which is this really pretty teal. Um, I wanted it to be coated well. I didn't want to see any white peeking through. So I made sure I got that um, peeking through and then I dried that. Then before I've painted with a brayer before and sorry about that pause there. I had a really massive brain fart. I don't know why but I couldn't remember what the word was that I was looking for. So after I dried this I went and grabbed some ultramarine blue paint by Golden and that's also a heavy body uh, acrylic paint. The teal is not a heavy body acrylic paint. It's a cheap one but the Golden is you know the expensive good stuff. Anyway so I grabbed um, the mini brayer and I brayered on this second layer and I took the bowls and the inspiration piece seemed to have like a navy blue rim so that's where I came up with the ultramarine blue for this layout. So then I get that all brayered on and I did have a little bit of a difficult time with the left side of the book just because like I said it's a brand new book and there's no um, there's nothing underneath it to make it you know sturdy. So that's why the brayer issue with going sideways instead of long ways whatever. Got that done and dried that and then I went searching for stencils. I wanted, I knew I wanted to add some modeling paste and I knew I wanted to add some stamping and I have to admit I love that gear stencil and to me it kind of symbolizes like the whole time thing which is what I'm trying to document but I, I had struggled with using that stencil so I opted not to use that stencil which you'll see that stencil does not get used but the live with purpose i think it says laugh with love laugh with pleasure that one that one gets used and then i have this dilution stamp uh set that i got at michael's when they were having like 40 percent off stamp sale all long a while ago and i stamped numbers because numbers time yada 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 and then i just i have that lawn fawn chamois and I wanted to just show you really quickly how awesome it is. I mean that's archival ink that I stamped with the black archival ink by Ranger and that chamois took all of that ink off of my stamp with no problem which was awesome and in two seconds it was you know my stamps clean. So here I go with the modeling paste and I just wanted white I didn't want to color it or anything like that I wanted to leave that white and you know just palette knife and modeling paste. I was really careful that I didn't get um, 
the tree that's on this stencil and this stencil came from I got it at Michael's I believe or did I get it at Hobby Lobby I don't remember I don't even remember who made the stencil to be honest with you I throw away the packaging because I keep all of my stencils in a bag and yeah I couldn't tell you so I apologize for that but it was either Michael's or Hobby Lobby and then I'm cleaning it there with a baby wipe but I'm gonna be honest I ended up doing what I always do is I went and washed it off in the sink because I just feel like a baby wipe does not get all of the gunk paint whatever off and sorry for my head in here but I took my old creative memory circle die and just went ahead and drew a circle because my thought process here is you're gonna see in a minute is to make a clock and you know clocks are just pretty much a circle with some numbers on it so um, I grabbed my white Signo pen and uh, made a circle made sure it was dry so I didn't smudge anything and then cleaned it off and added my numbers to it so here I am just adding numbers and making a clock which I have to admit I was really quite happy with the turnout of this clock I did have to go ahead and grab my watch just for some reference you know I I know how a clock looks but sometimes you just need a little help and I wish that I had um, numbered the 12 the 3 the 9 the 6 before I did all the other numbers it would have been a little more evenly spaced but whatever I'm still happy with my outcome with my with my layout so I went ahead and drew the hands and I might add the you'll see I added smaller clocks I have these old Tim Holtz clocks that I've been hoarding and keeping forever and I still have one left after this layout and they're they're gonna come up in a minute and you'll see um, and that was a little hand that little hand popped in a few times actually <laughs> in the video I had the baby and my mini me standing by me while I made part of this video this morning um, but I went ahead and I thought about using the Cricut to make my my title or you know to document that I'm talking about my one little word but then I'm like you know I have these stickers and I have a lot not as many as some people but I have enough that you know they need to be used up so I grabbed my stickers and glued those down with my scotch adhesive and then here are the metal clocks that I was telling you about from Tim Holtz and for some reason uh, my video had cut out but I stuck them down with matte multi-medium and then poked holes through the middle with my with my whole poker thingy and added the the hands I'm gonna glue the two pages that are together together so that you won't see the hands in the back and that's pretty much it for this layout it's it's done I tried to glue the hands down but yeah no it's too bulky it wasn't working so that didn't happen and um, that's it you know I'll do a little bit of journaling maybe on the layout later but I'm not sure but anyways thank you so much for watching this video for the crafty medieval getaway art party Friday